you, Shannon. A bar and restaurant with a history of trouble will now permanently close in Oak Lawn. Meantime, a grieving family hired a lawyer who wants to know how much alcohol the establishment served two people charged in a fatal car crash. WGN's Gaynor Hall has details. And if my mom was everything for me and my daughters and my brother, she was a single mother. She made me the woman I am. <laughs> Rocio Chacon says her brother and mother were happy and dancing all night long at a family cotillion. Hours later, it's just unbelievable what happened. 66 year old Maria Anita Chacon was killed in a crash early Sunday morning in Oak Lawn. Her 30 year old son Tomas is hospitalized in critical condition with a traumatic brain injury. Now I'm thinking, how am I going to tell him the news? that they were together and he was driving and they got hit and she's not here. And in the conditions that he's in, how is he going to react? Stephen Bradford and Joanne McNary are charged with aggravated DUI involving death and reckless homicide. They had left the Gaslight Bar and Grill on 95th Street, speeding in separate vehicles when police say Bradford slammed into the Chacon's car forcing the vehicle into oncoming traffic where they were hit by a pickup truck. The family's attorney, Michael Gallagher, says their investigators are working to obtain video and learn more about what happened inside the bar and once Bradford and McNary left before the crash happened two miles away. Uh, we want to determine how much they drank at the gaslight, how much they were overserved, what led up to the accident itself, how fast they were driving, and ultimately whether there was any law enforcement uh, involvement in the actual uh, pursuit. Gaslight recently changed ownership and has been the subject of dozens of complaints. After revoking the bar's liquor license this week, village officials announced late this afternoon the owner agreed to voluntarily close the establishment and will not seek to reopen in Oak Lawn. In exchange, the village will not impose fines against the bar for liquor license violations. Drinking, driving, they didn't just hurt my family. They're hurting their, their, their family as well. Rocio says her mother was a hard working woman, and now relatives are leaning on each other with grief and gratitude for everything she did to help her family. It's terrible. She didn't deserve this kind of death. I don't think anyone ever deserves this kind of death. Um, it's unbelievable how people could just act so reckless for not thinking of doing what they were doing. They caused my brother being in the hospital, my daughters leaving them without a grandmother, and me without a great woman. The family is planning to have a visitation for Chacon next weekend, and they set up a GoFundMe account to raise money to send her body to Mexico for burial and also to cover Tomas's medical expenses. Reporting from The Loop, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.